Hello everyone. Welcome to the Zoho Payroll video series on salary components. In this video, we will look at the flexible benefit plan component and the working of the same in Zoho Payroll. Before getting started, let us understand about flexible benefit plan. Flexible benefit plan is a way to set up a salary structure that gives employees more control on which CTC components they want to opt in with desired amount. This helps employees reduce their tax liabilities significantly. Please note that flexible benefit plan applies to a specific set of components as prescribed by the government. We will look at the list of components in the later part of this video. Now that we have understood what flexible benefit plan means, let's get into the working of the same in Zoho Payroll. Let us take a look at the couple of sample FAB components prevalently used across the organizations. One is leave travel allowance and research allowance. Let us take a look at it one by one. Leave travel allowance is a type of allowance exempted from tax which is provided to the employees for traveling on leave. Let us see how to create leave travel allowance in Zoho Payroll. Navigate to Settings, Salary Components, Add Component. Here, choose the earning type as leave travel allowance. Once chosen, enter the earning name and the name in payslip as applicable. Here, to the right side, you can view the set of attributes that has to be configured as applicable for your organization. The most important option here will be include this as a flexible benefit plan component. Now, if this option is enabled, employees will have the privilege to allocate the amount for that component. This will significantly reduce their residual component, thus reducing their taxability. Also, once this is enabled, there is an option restrict employees from overriding the amount. Enabling this option will prevent the employees from making changes to their allocated amount. Enable the option if applicable and check the other configurations and click mark this as active and save. Let us take a look at the methods of associating the component to the employees. There are two methods, manually associating through the user interface and through an Excel import. Now let us take a look at it one by one. Open the salary structure of an employee. Scroll down. Under FBP components, you will have this component available. Enable the tick box on the left side of the component and enter the amount as applicable for that employee and click save. Also, you can import the same using an Excel file. While preparing the salary structure, you need to add three columns, namely, leave travel allowance. Here, you will enter the actual amount that is applicable for this employee. Next, leave travel allowance is enabled. Here, you will enter yes or no based on the applicability. Next, leave travel allowance maximum amount. Here, you will be entering the maximum amount that is applicable at the organization level. Once associated, employees will be able to choose the amount in FBP. Also, the yearly amount for leave travel allowance can be declared under the other allowances section of the IT declaration in order to get the necessary exemptions. You can refer the same in the TDS sheet of the pay run under section 10. Pro tips. Please ensure to choose the earning type as leave travel allowance. Only travel expenses will be reimbursed. Reimbursement amount is calculated based on the shortest distance between the two places. Reimbursement can only be availed twice in a block of four years. If you don't make two trips within the designated four year block, then one year trip will be carried over to the next block. However, you would have to make the trip within the first year of that block. Amount availed as leave travel allowance is fully exempt from taxes. Next, let us take a look at how to configure research allowance. 
research allowance is granted to meet the expenditure on academic research and other professional pursuits. Let us see how to create research allowance in Zoho Payroll. Navigate to Settings, Salary Components, Add Component. Here, choose the earning type as research allowance. Once chosen, choose the earning name and name in payslip. Here, to the right side, you can view the set of attributes that has to be configured as applicable for your organization. The most important option here will be include this as a flexible benefit plan component. Now, if this option is enabled, employees will have the privilege to choose how much to invest in that component. This will significantly reduce the residual component, thus reducing the taxability on the whole. Also, once this is enabled, there is an option, restrict employees from overriding the amount. Enabling this option will prevent the employees from making changes to the value. So enable this option if applicable and check the other configurations and click mark this as active and saved. Let us take a look at the methods of associating the component to the employees. There are a couple of methods manually associating through the user interface and through an Excel import. Let us take a look at it one by one. Open the salary structure of an employee and scroll down. Under FBP components, you will have this component available. Enable this tick box and enter the amount as applicable for that employee and click on save. Also, you can import the same using an Excel file. While preparing the salary structure, you have to add three columns, namely research allowance. Here you will enter the actual amount that is applicable for that employee. Research allowance is enabled. Here you will enter yes or no based on the applicability. Finally, research allowance maximum amount. Here, you will be entering the maximum amount that is applicable at the organization level. Once done, you can import the same structure. Once associated, employees will be able to choose the amount in the flexible benefit plan. Also, the yearly amount of research allowance can be declared under the other allowances section of the IT declaration to get the necessary exemptions. You can refer to the same in the tedious sheet of the pay run under section 10. Pro tips, please make sure to choose the earning type as research allowance. Research allowance is fully exempted from the income tax if the reimbursement amount is lower or equal to the actual expenditure. If the cost of the research exceeds, the applicant might have to pay tax on the rest of the amount. Apart from leave travel allowance and research allowance, there are other components prescribed by the government under Section 10 of the Income Tax Act. These components can also be configured in Zoho Payroll. With this, we have come to the end of this video. We hope this video was informative to you on learning about flexible benefit plan components and its working in Zoho Payroll. If you found this video helpful, don't forget to like, share and subscribe. Click the bell icon to get further updates from us.